Hello, and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm going to be speaking with Bob Hutchins, CEO of Stembiosis Incorporated. They're developers of advanced stem cell technologies, and he's joining us here on the program to talk about some research that was recently published in peer-reviewed journal Nature Scientific Reports. It's uh, all concerning Selvo Matrix Plus. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Mr. Bob Hutchins, thanks for taking the time. Neil, thank you for the opportunity today. Right. Uh, give our listeners a bit of your background and then talk uh, about uh, the mission of stembiosis. Sure thing, Neil. Um, so I uh, actually have a bit of an unusual background for a biotech CEO. I spent 25 years as a management consultant, mm -hmm. and uh, I like to joke that I had one of those birthdays with a zero in it and uh, wanted to step back and figure out what I wanted to go do next. Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting involved with stembiosis and, and uh, became the CEO of the company about six years ago. Um, the the, com the company itself uh, has a technology uh, originally designed for the expansion, meaning multiplying uh, stem cells. We have expanded that technology into a number of applications. Uh, today we have customers around the world who are using our cell and related products uh, in a variety of applications, primarily around early stage drug discovery and drug safety testing. Now, I did mention, of course, that you were going to talk about some uh, information that was recently published in Nature Scientific Reports uh, about your technology, Selvo Matrix Plus. First, yes. you mentioned stem cells. Uh, let's get our listeners up to speed as to um, are these stem cells coming from, from bone marrow, placenta? What types of stem cells are you using? So we use a variety of stem cells in our products. The Selvo Matrix Plus uh, product uses stem cells derived from amniotic fluid, actually, mm -hmm. from natural births. And what exactly is this platform used for as far as stem cell uh, production? So uh, the Matrix Plus product, the most innovative use that we've got, uh, have identified for it, is around um, an early stage drug safety test. Uh, what we have found is we can take uh, heart cells called cardiomyocytes that are derived from an induced pluripotent stem cell. And basically an induced pluripotent stem cell is a, uh, a human cell typically taken from skin that has been backwards engineered into a cell that can become any organ or tissue in the human body. We can take those cells, we can differentiate those or change them into a cardiomyocyte, and we can actually, on our salvo matrix, take those cardiomyocytes and get them into a mature adult state that allows us to do a, uh, a number of early stage drug uh, safety tests that allows us to determine whether or not a particular drug will cause um, uh, will cause um, a, uh, an arrhythmia or other condition to the human heart. So you can have these cells form into any type of organ cell and test different drugs on these cells to find out what they will do in actual organs? You could, you could ultimately do that. The application we talk about specifically in the Nature Scientific Report paper mm -hmm. is around uh, cardiac okay. and specifically the human heart. We have applications under in development around liver, around kidney, and around nerve as well. Why is the human heart uh, so significant as far as this technology specifically is concerned? Yeah, it's the biggest area of concern for the FDA, and the, and the issue has been this. Um, over the last 20 or so years, we brought a lot of new oncology drugs to market, and a lot of the oncology drugs have some very negative effects around uh, the human heart in particular and around arrhythmias in the heart. And what the FDA has been doing for about the last decade is looking for tests that give you very accurate predictions around what's going to happen when that drug gets into the human body, and we want to do that before we actually give it to people. So as far as some of these drugs being useful, they're not safe, so they haven't been used. Right, exactly. And the concern, Neil, is that uh, the current testing paradigms give you too many false positives, meaning we are, we are determining through the current testing paradigms that a drug is not safe when, in fact, it may be perfectly safe. And the FDA's concern is we are knocking out too many safe drugs 
because we have a bad test. Our test is more accurate and will, is, will give you a better prediction on the ultimate safety profile of the drug. That's the big, the big benefit here. So are we talking basically uh, perfection as far as these stem cells are concerned when it comes to testing for safety? Or is there some degree of, um, I guess, uh, for lack of a better term, irregularities in some of these cells to cause a false, po a false positive or negative in your setting? So in our setting, we've tested against the FDA's battery of compounds, mm -hmm. and we got a perfect test. So the, the outcome against the FDA's battery was perfect. So we have no reason to believe that we give anything other than uh, the most accurate test out there. Can I say that every single drug is going to be perfectly predicted? predicted? I, I wouldn't do that. But we have no reason to believe that we've got uh, anything out there that, that would give a false reading. That being said, how do you think that uh, this platform, Selvo Matrix Plus, is going to affect uh, testing overall in the future, especially when it comes to, to cardiac drugs? So uh, certainly we, we will give a great, we offer a great platform for testing cardiac drugs and all drugs uh, from a safety profile. On cardiac drugs, we believe that this platform will allow people to um, potentially bring many new cardiac drugs to market with, because of the, the platform that we offer. Can you uh, m manipulate these stem cells to, I guess, mimic uh, aged cells? Are all, all of these cells um, produced, you know, brand new uh, to mimic brand new cells in the heart, lungs, kidney, or whatever? Or can you manufacture them so that they mimic advanced or aged cells? So we have... All of the published work we have done to date has been around a, let me call it a generic cardiomyocyte. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done very early stage work both around aged cells, as you point out, and also around diseased cells. So where we've taken disease cells from diseased individuals, we've been able to put them on this and actually maintain that disease uh, state. Again, if you think about drug testing and, and testing of, of new cures for heart conditions, there's, there's all kinds of uh, possibilities here. We have a number of grants under review around this specific, these specific questions. You know, there has been um, some discussion about the benefits of animal testing, say, you know, testing today in animals and then 20 years down the line or so realizing that these tests in animals, it, it wasn't worth it. Uh, could your technology basically eliminate animal testing? I don't know that I would use the word eliminate. It mm -hmm. could certainly replace it in many, many cases. Yes. Well, let our listeners uh, know where we can go online to learn more about uh, stem biosis and much more about Selvo Matrix Plus as well. Certainly. It's www.stembiosis.com. Well, I appreciate you, Bob, for uh, coming in and speaking with us this morning. Thank you very much, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Bob Hutchins, CEO of Stembiosis Incorporated, developers of advanced stem cell technologies. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.